when Phil and Lisa came to Wyoming, let me tell you, we were struggling in, in ways. And then, of course, when he came and his name was Dubois, and we have a town in Wyoming called Dubois. So one guy was wandering through that area of Wyoming, Dubois, Dubois, and he went into this place and he sat down. He was troubled. He said to this woman, now, I, I don't, how do you, how do you pronounce the name of this place and say it very slowly? And she said, Burger King. When they were in Wyoming, they brought class and glamour, but more than that, leadership, tremendous leadership. And Lisa was a, a wonderful hostess. It, Wyoming University was the hostess with the mostess and the entertainment capital. Kings, potentates, princes, and all beautifully done by Lisa and Phil in their home, in their own home. And then what he did with the university and strategic planning uh, and, and all the tactical things. And in that period of time, he did so much that even one board member, how's this for an accolade, said, you know, the thing about Dubois that concerns me, he gets his way too much. Well, that was a bonehead that, that expressed that, but let me tell you, he does get his way because he has charm and he's, he's precise and he knows exactly where he's headed. He, he, he'll tell you to go to hell and away you look forward to the trip. Uh, he gets his way, but he's a man of great integrity and Lisa is just one of the finest. And the pleasure for me and for Anne is that we came to your beautiful campus and that's where we met Erskine and Crandall. That's given me great joy. One of the greatest guys I've ever worked with is Erskine. And so you have on that podium tonight, Phil and Erskine, two very, very special uh, friends of mine. And remember that all three of us wouldn't be anywhere if it weren't for Crandall and Lisa and Ann. So have a big one. I know you're gonna live it up and sleep in the streets, and you should. And just know that you're honoring a tremendous man. God bless you. Have a great night.